guys, this is Average Tracker with a video overview of my 11HS8. That would be the Kicker Hideaway subwoofer, which is 8 inch. What we have here is my 2006 MX5, which just put a fingerprint on. And as you can see, back here is where the Kicker sits. That's what's great about the speaker. It's only eight inches. It comes with the amplifier built in. All your controls are easy to use. Connection is super easy. Um, all you need to do is power to the battery, ground it, which I have grounded to the bottom of the seat. Connect these uh, speaker wires left and right into your stereo system, and that could be aftermarket or OEM speaker. I mean, uh, head unit. Um, there is a lot of cable, so I did hide it behind here and just cover it up with this uh, cable hider. One thing I noticed is there was like the smallest bit of rattle, but that drives me crazy. So what I did is I used some uh, sound dampening or deadening material right behind the subwoofer right here and also underneath this plastic. I also put some up here on this side um, underneath this piece of trim because this flaps. Um, yeah, I could have easily fit it into the trunk. There's like a perfect little outline for the sub, really, but what I didn't want to do is, because I lug my stuff a lot in the trunk, sometimes I carry the Xbox or the Playstation in there, and I don't want the speaker to uh, mess with it because of the magnets. So, I figured the best place to put it would be inside of the car, plus it would be a better sound. I don't think it would be as good if it was back there. I could be wrong, though. Something worth mentioning is that inside the manual, if you look at the setup page, see a little diagram of how this all works. Um, this little thing, the kicker's sizzle, sizzle, whatever, this thing, I can't find it on their website, and I can't find it anywhere, not even like eBay. So what I did is I tried using a line output converter, which doesn't do what I needed it to do. What I was trying to do was convert the speaker cables, I mean the RC into the speaker cables, and the line output converter did the opposite. In other words, changing the speaker cables into R RCA inputs. Um, what that's good for is if, like in my Civic, I have the amplifier sitting in the trunk, and we have the speakers from the rear of the car connected to the line output converter and then into RCA, so you can actually connect directly into the subwoofer. This subwoofer doesn't have RCAs. I can't see it now, but it doesn't have RCAs, so you, the only way to do it really would be to buy this piece which doesn't exist or find another version of it. Kicker must make another one. Um, and then connect it into RCA outs. Or what you can do is connect the speaker cable right into the left and right side. So these retail for 200 to $300. Um, one thing I didn't like was this little blue light for the uh, your little, I guess, circuit breaker protect light thing. Um, it's super, super bright, so what I did is I just covered it up with some hanger tape, or some double-sided tape, I guess you can call it. Really thick stuff so the light doesn't seep through. And I guess you're wondering what it sounds like, so let me find... Is it to demonstrate that? You can't really see, but I have the bass boost in the middle. I have the X over a little bit to the right, I'd say 75%, and the gain is pretty high. It's about 85.
I don't know how well that's going to be picked up on the camera's microphone, but it's pretty bassy. It's nowhere near, it's not, it's not going to, I guess, rattle the cars next to you. It won't even rattle really your car that much, unless you turn it all the way up. But that's the interesting thing, it doesn't make it feel overpowered. And it's very progressive and smooth, the sound from it. Um, on the left-hand side, what you get inside of the box is this little bass level of thing. And what you can do is turn up the bass and turn it down so you don't actually have to reach behind you or go into your trunk if you have it sitting in your trunk to adjust the levels of the bass. And it works really good. It's got a really good feel on it. But that's exactly where I like it. And if I ever need more bass for whatever song, I just turn it up. And if I need less, I turn it down. So, hope you pick one up if you have a car with not that much space for a sub, like a big 12 or something like that. I'm very impressed with the sound. Thank you for watching. Leave a thumbs up. And catch you on the next one.